Hey guys, this is my Super Cub LP. Um, it has a brushless motor, and I just kind of made my own motor mount for it. It's a E Flight Part 480 motor. Um, I put ailerons and flaps on it. And how I did the flaps and ailerons is I just put a uh, hinge tape across the top and on the bottom I bezeled it so that the ailerons can move up and down and the flaps I just put hinge tape on the bottom uh, I've got lights on the bottom of the wings too and they look really good in the dark they're super bright and I put a carbon fiber rod through the wing so that the wings do not rip off while I'm flying. And I've got a drop door on it. I just cut out a little hole in here, put a servo, and I hooked it to the gear switch on the DX6i. I've got packaging tape on the bottoms and the top of the tail so that, that doesn't rip off too. It kind of gives it a little bit of reinforcement. So these are the lights on my airplane. I got them from Horizon Hobby. They're, it's called the LED Ground Effects Kit. And they're really bright in the dark. They light up my entire room. And, um... They've got a remote that make you can change the settings on it. So it's flash, fade, strobe, whatever you want. And you can just make it solid colors as well. As I'm running a Turnigy 2200 milliamp battery. They're $17 on Hobby King. And they support high charge rates of 15 Cs, I think. So you can charge the battery in about 8 minutes, and you get about 9 minutes of flight time. You just have to have a charger that will support that. That's about it. Um, we painted my dad's plane, too. It, um, it's brushless also, but it's still a 3-channel. This plane has a 6-channel Spectrum receiver, a 30-amp E-Flight ESC, and... It has a 10 amp BC in it too. That takes power directly from the battery so that the receiver doesn't get shorted power because there's seven servos on this airplane. Sorry, that's my charger. And I'm going to put a link in the description eventually of this plane flying because it is pretty cool.